No, it's great. Please. No, 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 no. This is a different guy. <laughs> He's got curly hair. <laughs> hey, I'm Natalie Kim. This is It's a Draw, and I'm here with Tim Hamilton. Hi. Amazing illustrator. Tim is known for his work with Trouble with Girls, The Green Lantern, Aliens, uh, Treasure Island, Ray Bradbury's, I'm gonna say Ray Bradbury's, Fahrenheit 451. We are so psyched to have you on the show. Well, happy to be here. So since you're the guest, you get to choose the topic for today. All right. Miller time by <laughs> Josh, uh, by Jim Dugan. Jim, Jim Dugan. Dugan. <laughs> Jim Dugan? I know Jim Dugan. Yeah. Three, two, one. <laughs> Draw. Tell us what goes on in the, in the day of the life of a sexy illustrator. I have drawn a lot of comics. I just finished writing and illustrating two children's books, so I'm happy about that. What's their titles? The title of the first one is Big Fib. And the other book is called But, B-U-T, dot, dot, dot. I read also that you're a pet, you were a pet sitter, because then you were, you know, before you... Long ago. Yes. Well, during, during. I was an artist, and it, when I lived in Ithaca, New York. Um, also, you had a body of like work that came from that, right? That inspired uh, something. A, a little bit, a little bit. It did because when you're a pet sitter, it's kind of odd. You go into people's houses and they trust you, and you know, there's no reason for them not to trust me. But uh, <laughs> it's just odd that people let you go to their houses, and some because sometimes if they have a cat, the cat is. Well, hot, the cat will hide, or cats will hide. Yes. So you gotta look around the house and be like, I hope the cat's okay. <laughs> Tim hmm. Hamilton for hire, pet sitter. <laughs> <laughs> really into British stuff, you're always talking about Mr. Who. Yes. When I grew up, all I had was PBS to see what was out there in the rest of the world. PBS was the only station where I was like, oh, what's this? This is like shows from other countries and animation and a show about. Uh, you know, I saw uh, 2001 Space Odyssey, which I would have, wouldn't have seen anywhere else. I mean, I saw Monty Python, which I was like, oh, what's this mm -hmm. funny show? You're part of the Society of Illustrators. What do you guys do there? Are you I, like, um, like masons, or what's, what, what goes on? It seems so secretive. I want to know about what's going on secretive. in the bar. It just means I'm a member. I get to go eat lunch there, and I can bring my friends to eat lunch, because you have to be a member to eat lunch and go in and drink at the bar. But you can bring your friends with you, so it's not like they stop you at the door if you're, if you're not. A member, you just have to be with someone. What's the best part of being an illustrator? Because I'm doing what I love to do. I haven't had many other jobs. I did have a job in pharmaceutical advertising where I sat in a, in a uh, cubicle. You know, it paid the bills for a while. Uh, I used their nice printer to print out my illustration. What's one piece of advice you can give someone who's starting out in a career in illustration, cartooning? Well, if you're going to be any kind of artist, the, the best advice is to draw all the time. When you're out of school, you'll, be, you'll have a crappy job at it. Uh, you're not going to be doing what you want to do. You're nobody's doing what they want to do a year after college. It, it, sometimes it takes five years, ten years, uh, as long as you're working in what you want to be. Towards it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that's very interesting because it looks like he's himself. So <laughs> it's a... Uh... Oh, shoot. Yes, here. Tim Hamilton. These are our drawings. Never Kim. It was a pleasure oh. drawing with you. <laughs> it was a pleasure drawing with you, man. Thank you so much. It's a lot of fun. Thank you. So and we will long. see you next time on It's a Draw with Natalie Kim. And. Hi, George. <laughs> Sorry, did I ruin that? <laughs>